In a quiet mansion, a young boy named Yuri is spying on his newly hired maid. He finds the maid to be a more than qualified hard worker, but finds her to be suspicious, with him unable to think about anything else. He spies on her, with her doing relatively normal things. Every time he stares into her purple eyes, he freezes. He can't understand why she would work here. The maid's name is Lilith, and with all the staring, she wonders if the young master has taken an interest in her. He admits he has, and assumes that she can read minds. The boy blurts out how she's the most beautiful maid he's ever seen, and because of that, he loses sleep at night thinking of her. All the compliments being thrown at her makes her beat red. As she pours him some tea, he wonders why he hired her. Following the death of his parents, a young boy named Yuri inherits his family mansion, but cannot afford servants. The butlers and maids feel bad about leaving him, but he assures that he'll be fine on his own. But it was a lie. He attempts to run the mansion alone and be self-sufficient, but fails spectacularly. A maid named Lilith appears, which he deems suspicious, even more so when she offers to work for no salary. Yuri is convinced by her serious demeanor and intense purple eyes. He finds her work to be like not other maid that's come before her, referring to her abilities as magic. Lilith goes with his ludicrous statements, saying the young master is under her spell. Lilith is aware of his suspicion, but seems amused by it and even teases him, though she becomes flustered when, unintentionally, Yuri admits he finds her eyes beautiful. After blurting more of his feelings out, he believes her to be a magician. He demands to know her intentions, but she insists her motives remain secret, which only makes Yuri more suspicious. Yuri finds her awake in the kitchen at midnight and accuses her of ensnaring him with a love potion, though really she was learning to cook his favorite foods. Yuri is suspicious when Lilith uses his name, like they were a married couple, and insists Lilith stop until they grow to know each other better. Lilith is shown to possess a photo of Yuri, and via flashback was shown receiving a letter shortly after the death of Yuri's parents that caused her to immediately travel to the mansion to be his maid. The next morning, Lilith wakes Yuri up with newly prepared clothes. Lilith buys Yuri gifts, making him believe she is trying to win his affection. She plays along with his accusation as a bit of teasing. Yuri declares he will win her over instead, making a very assertive declaration, but after breakfast. Lilith comes in to offer him some tea, then later some pastries. Next comes in to offer help with his work. This becomes a cycle of her pestering him, so since she's lonely, he allows her to stand by him. When Lilith disappears, he grows suspicious until he finds her playing with a stray cat. Yuri reveals he is afraid of cats, but wants to conquer that fear. While Lilith is gone, another more aggressive cat appears. Yuri drives it away, and the stray cat becomes his friend. Lilith is visibly jealous of Yuri petting the cat, wishing to ask for the same. Lilith becomes embarrassed when Yuri also pets her. A picture drops from Lilith's pocket, being an old photo of the young master. Yuri sketches morning glory flowers, but refuses to show Lilith until the sketch is finished. After finishing his meal, I asked to learn cooking from Lilith, embarrassing her at his praise of her food, especially his offer to marry her. Yuri notices the food he cooked tastes different, then misunderstands when Lilith claims it is because the food she cooks contains her love, which he is convinced means love potion. Lilith later finds the morning glory sketch where Yuri has compared the beauty of the flowers to her eyes. Yuri is suspicious about what Lilith does after he goes to bed, but falls asleep before he can find out. It is revealed Lilith waits until he falls asleep, so she can watch him sleeping. It's time for Yuri to go to school, meaning he must leave the house alone. Lilith begins to pester him, asking if he's forgotten something. As he leaves, she begins to fix his uniform. Lilith fusses over Yuri, who comments it is like when his mother used to fuss over his father. At school, a girl named Tsukasa hopes she can be helpful to Yuri after his long absence. Tsukasa tries to talk to Yuri, but is too nervous. Lilith is bored without Yuri to look after, so she goes to pick him up. Lilith gets the attention of another servant who recognizes her. After school, Lilith's beautiful appearance has the students wonder what mansion she's from. After school, Lilith arrives to collect him, despite his orders not to. Tsukasa sees them together, and is immediately suspicious of their relationship, especially when she overhears Lilith speak about their relationship. Next, when Yuri casually discusses Lilith's beauty, and believes both of them are in a taboo relationship much to her excitement, their back and forth flirting has Tsukasa put aside her feelings, since she would rather watch the two. Tsukasa's butler, Fujisaki, arrives and recognizes Lilith. Lilith asks Tsukasa to continue being a good friend to Yuri. As they leave, Tsukasa admires how lovely Lilith is and suggests Fujisaki wear the same, but it is denied. Later, Yuri realizes Lilith has gone out and takes the opportunity to indulge in unhealthy snacks and light novels. The young maid is looking for fresh fish, since it's lovely in the fall. Lilith stays out late stubbornly trying to find a certain fish for Yuri's dinner, 
but is sold out everywhere. Yuri finds it strange, so he calls her phone. She misses the last train, but is able to be driven home by a passing Fujisaki, who is suspicious of Lilith's return to the city. Lilith is happy to be back, but the two say little about it. Lilith finds Yuri crying from being alone for so long, and he accuses her of bewitching him to miss her when she is gone. The maid is concerned, but that fades away after he confesses that he can't live without her. She admits to bewitching him, but also congratulates him for coping so well without her. Lilith is up early with a new butler's uniform, and hopes the master will still notice her. Lilith worries that the environment she's created isn't healthy for a child to grow up in, with this being the whole reason she came. Lilith worries Yuri is growing more suspicious of her. As an adult, she has to keep an eye on him. She tries to stay mature in her tactics, but Yuri vows to spend his entire life looking at her since he never gets bored looking at her beauty, convinced his attraction to her isn't healthy. As he monitors her constantly, Lilith tries several tactics to seem trustworthy, but each only deepens his attraction and suspicion. Lilith suggests they play chess, but Yuri admits he used to play chess with his father and remembers his mother trying to make a pudding while he and his father played. The next day, Yuri returns from school unhappy, so Lilith makes pudding to cheer him up, but is shocked when he accepts it without suspicion. His lack of suspicion actually worries her, and she wonders if she should act suspicious on purpose. Yuri reveals his school is holding an open house, but worries she is so suspicious other people would be as attracted to her as he is. Lilith is relieved Yuri is still suspicious of her, and becomes determined to attend. The day before, Yuri comments on how strict his school is, given the parents and teachers that show up. Lilith is confused, but assumes he wants her to act more like a guardian, but Yuri is referring to her outfit. Lilith assumes she has to dress up, but Yuri doesn't want everyone to be obsessed with her so is against it. Given her cleavage, that is why she needs to change uniforms. Yuri is sad Lilith does not arrive with other parents, but happy when she arrives in a male butler's uniform, borrowed from Fujisaki. Yuri thanks her for attending, and Lilith hopes they have managed to become closer. Yuri is practicing for a sports festival and invites Lilith to attend so she can watch him compete. Lilith decides to make some chants to encourage him, but given her cutesy voice, he's stunned. When she goes to pick him up, Yuri blurts out that he couldn't stop thinking about her. With it being so bad, he has no idea what he learned in class. Tsukasa continues to spy on them. Worried she may become a stalker, Fujisaki tries to distract Tsukasa away from Yuri by appearing cute herself, which works, but Fujisaki hates it. Lilith helps Yuri practice, which makes Yuri fired up to start. First is the ball throw where she helps his aim. Next is the tug of rope that helps improve his form, exhausting him, so she offers to massage him, which she is so skilled at he immediately becomes suspicious. Tsukasa's parents are unable to attend the festival, so Fujisaki offers to attend, not realizing until too late that Tsukasa manipulated her. On the day of the festival, Yuri is especially competitive, and Tsukasa suspects he is trying to impress Lilith. She is then shocked when Lilith claims Yuri will receive a reward if he wins, causing Tsukasa to think their taboo relationship is now evolved, picturing his reward. Fujisaki criticizes Lilith for appearing in public where everyone can see her, Lilith is surprised when Yuri reveals she has to compete in the parents' obstacle race, but when he cheers for her, she wins first place. His classmates complain that a maid doesn't count as a parent, so he claims Lilith is his precious family. As he describes his feelings, Lilith is embarrassed he makes her sound more like a girlfriend than a parent, though this makes Yuri suspicious she is using magic to make him feel things again. Lilith is caught in the rain, so Yuri brings her a towel so she jokingly asks Yuri to join her for a bath, but is surprised when he claims they can't because they're not married yet. Lilith begins acting strangely, and Yuri confirms the rain gave her a fever. Lilith cries over being useless as a maid, but Yuri insists she focus on recovering. Lilith is perplexed when Yuri starts helping with chores. Lilith is against the idea, but after he expresses he wants to spend even more time with her, she gives in. What's even more comforting is he sees her as family. Tsukasa invites Yuri to her Halloween party and he decides to go as a sorcerer. Lilith accidentally reveals she worked at another mansion before and is relieved when Yuri didn't notice. Yuri insists she wear a costume, with him wanting to remember their first Halloween together. So she dresses as a dragon girl maid, which once again sends Tsukasa mad with fantasies about their love life. The three of them look at Fujisaki, being the only one without a costume, who's embarrassed when Tsukasa forces her to wear a princess outfit. Everyone finds her so cute, ending it for a photo shoot. At school, Tsukasa gives Yuri photos from the party. Meanwhile, Lilith receives letters in the post that worry her. Yuri finds he is less suspicious of Lilith lately, but his suspicion returns when she tries to hide the letters. At dinner, she reveals she has actually been hiding from her former employer. So this will be the last day he'll see her at the estate. 
because now they have found her and have ordered her to come back. Yuri refuses to let her go as he is still under her suspicious magic spell and she is his maid and no one else's. Lilith throws away the letters and Yuri hugs her for the first time. Yuri thinks about Lilith constantly so he can't properly stay focused on his work. Tsukasa wants to help, so asks that he tell her all about it. But this turns out to be how he met Lilith and how he feels about her. Tsukasa realizes he is oblivious, so she tells him he is in love, which somehow makes him blurt out more things he likes about her. The two talk to each other as if they were in a romance novel. When he gets home, he ignores her normal teasing. Lilith is concerned when Yuri ignores her, even when she teases him suggestively. She stops her advances, realizing it's making her seem like some obsessive psychomaid. Yuri almost asks her about love, but decides to ask Tsukasa. Yuri worries Lilith might leave one day, though Tsukasa insists Lilith is happiest with Yuri. To explain love, Tsukasa invites him to read her romance light novels, though these are confiscated by Fujisaki before Yuri can be corrupted. Yuri returns to normal, confusing Lilith again. During art class, Yuri decides to draw Lilith to expose her true nature. She hears this and begins her usual set of teasing, along with allowing him to dress her up in a costume or pose, initially causing Lilith to fear he means to draw her naked, but the boy means her simply sitting down like she usually is at home. Yuri is repeatedly unsatisfied with his drawing and begins to lose sleep. Lilith teases it must be due to her beauty. Lilith is determined to help him sleep, first lighting scented candles. Next, allow him to rest on her lap. She tries multiple things, but nothing works. Lilith suggests she sleeps next to him. As he tries to sleep, he confesses to Lilith his confusion and worries he knows nothing about the real her. Lilith helps him sleep with a lullaby his mother used to sing. Yuri awakens well rested, but fails to remember what he and Lilith talked about. As he had such a good sleep, he insists Lilith sleep beside him again, though Lilith worries she is in danger of becoming sleep deprived too. Despite the drawing not being finished to Yuri's satisfaction, it wins first place during art class. Yuri is suspicious when Lilith goes out nicely dressed and fears she has a date. Still, he insists that she take a day off, seeing how everyone needs a break. Lilith is a bit early for her meeting and walks around the town. Lilith meets Fujisaki at a cafe. Fujisaki assumes that Lilith is concerned about leaving Yuri alone. Lilith assumed Fujisaki felt the same, but she doesn't. Back in school, Lilith remembers that when they were at school, Fujisaki was a delinquent, but abruptly changed after graduation. Lilith now realizes the change was caused by her meeting Tsukasa, making Fujisaki blush. She hopes she and Yuri will be that close one day. Fujisaki remembers how Lilith acted at the academy, always by herself, and now she's changing. Fujisaki points out that if she wants Yuri to open his heart to her, she needs to do the same, which Lilith is unsure about. Yuri, who had been following her, quickly returns home and confronts her. Overhearing her and Fujisaki had caused him to remember that when he was younger, his parents had brought a girl into the house, a girl who was lonely and unapproachable. He now realizes it was Lilith, and she had often sung him his mother's lullaby when his mother was away. Lilith wants to tell him everything, but Yuri decides he needs to remember on his own. Tsukasa notices Yuri acting differently, and is convinced he and Lilith have made some progress. Her reaction makes Yuri realize he hasn't been suspicious of Lilith, the whole time he was actually falling in love. He rushes home and immediately confesses his love to Lilith. Before she can respond, they are both confronted by another rude mouth maid named Natsumi. Natsumi has been searching for Lilith, and demands she return with her immediately. Lilith explains she and Natsumi were maids for the same employer. Natsumi is disappointed Lilith serves a child and she doesn't even get paid. Natsumi has heard a lot of rumors about this but didn't want to believe it. She determines Yuri's age and lack of wealth makes him an unsuitable master. Natsume wants to test Yuri's intelligence to show he's fit to be Lilith master. Lilith confronts Natsumi over being obsessed with her and demands she respect her wish to stay with Yuri. Having recently released his own feelings for Lilith, Yuri realizes Natsumi probably loves Lilith too. Natsumi denies it, and finds it embarrassing that a kid could casually say it. Natsumi eventually admits she loves Lilith. Lilith appreciates it but isn't leaving, but neither is Natsumi. The maid knows that even in a smaller mansion, she has a lot of work to do. Yuri returns to school, and Lilith resumes her duties. Natsumi refuses to believe Lilith is happy serving Yuri, though she cannot reconcile this belief with how he and Lilith act around each other. The two are rather forward with their inappropriate banter, Yuri also observes Natsumi and doubts she is a maid like Lilith, since she acts unprofessional and eats junk food before dinner, which is only proven when Natsumi burns food, ruins the laundry, and causes more mess than she manages to clean. 
This actually makes Lilith nostalgic, as Natsume would always make mistakes Lilith would end up fixing for her. Later, while bathing together, Lilith is actually relieved Natsumi is there, as she has no idea how to respond to Yuri's earlier declaration of love. Natsumi grudgingly admits Yuri is a good master, and he clearly makes Lilith happy, though she doesn't tell Lilith why this is, deciding Lilith needs to realize it on her own. Yuri tells Tsukasa about Natsume, who is excited Yuri has a rival for Lilith's love. Natsumi arrives to collect Yuri from school, and sees Fujisaki, who she is scared of. Natsumi plans to leave soon, but as it is almost Christmas, she wants to buy a gift for Lilith first. Older boys try to bully Yuri, and though Natsumi saves him, she is impressed that he stood up to them. Natsumi asks Yuri's help to plan a surprise Christmas party for Lilith, with the two arguing over which side of Lilith is better suited for her, making the maid embarrassed but glad the two are bonding. So Yuri tells Lilith he is spending Christmas with Tsukasa, which visibly disappoints her. Natsume then invites Lilith out for Christmas. That night, the maid is knitting him a present. Yuri, Tsukasa, and Fujisaki left to decorate the house and bake a cake. Natsume struggles to make conversation with Lilith. Even with her struggles, she manages to have a fun time. Lilith buys Natsume a hair ornament and Natsume gifts Lilith a pen, asking she write letters to her after she leaves. Returning to the mansion, Natsumi is the one who is surprised, as Yuri had plotted with Lilith to throw the party for Natsumi instead. The party is a success, and after Tsukasa returns home and Natsumi falls asleep, Yuri leaves her Christmas gift, woolen mittens. Lilith helped him knit himself. Lilith has cleaned the mansion to the point it sparkles. She hears the doorbell. When she opens it, Lilith's former master appears. Natsumi admits to Yuri that she is happy that she came to the mansion. Seeing Lilith happy makes her able to confess to Lilith, making Natsumi confident enough to confess to the man she loves. This is a shock, with Yuri assuming she only loved Lilith, but Natsumi admits that's a different type of love. Natsumi's true love is to her master. The master wanted to check up on her since he was in the area, asking that she relax more in her own home. Master is happy Lilith is enjoying working for Yuri. Lilith reveals that when she was young her parents suddenly vanished. She bounced from home to home, until eventually Yuri's parents, who were friends with her parents, took her in, meeting Yuri at a young age, enjoying her life with them. Later, she decided to become a maid to spend her life repaying them, spending years at a boarding school until she graduated and was assigned to the Master's Mansion. Unfortunately, during her training at Master's Mansion, Yuri's parents died, so she left to look after Yuri immediately. Yuri is afraid Lilith is leaving, but Master assures him he is just there to collect Natsume, and of course Lilith will stay with Yuri. After Master and Natsumi leave, it is awkward, as Yuri and Lilith have not been alone for some time. Lilith asks if Yuri wants to go anywhere, and agrees when he asks if it is a date. In town, Tsukasa spots their date, but is stopped from following them by Fujisaki. Yuri and Lilith go see the Christmas lights, and Lilith is finally brave enough to ask what kind of love Yuri has for her. Yuri admits he doesn't know yet, but they both look forward to staying together to find out. Lilith also does not yet know how to respond to him, remembering they were always like this. The next day it snows, so Yuri and Lilith make snowmen of each other, but Lilith is embarrassed when Yuri adds six snow children next to them. Well, that's where we're gonna leave off on today's video. As always, if you liked what you saw, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll be uploading a lot of videos just like this one, so I'll see you in the next one.